or two women can't love each other the way a man and a woman love each other. And since sex got to be where it wasn't enough for you, I thought it was best that we ended it. And it's over and done. I made that completely clear. I mean, he's probably already gone by now. I'm just glad I ended it before Whitney caught on. She would have left me. Now she never has to know. something for me. I'm gonna find out what it is. You know, I know I'm the one who told you not to tell Ethan the truth about his son because Chad realized, you know, what it was gonna cost you, but now I'm not so sure. No, 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 no. Chad was right. I mean, if it came out that Lee was not Johnny Crane's son, then I would lose everything and lose all the Crane money and power, and my brothers are counting on me to help them clear their names. Yeah, but your brothers would forgive you once they realized what was at stake for you. No, I'm not letting them down. You know what, even if I wanted to, everything has changed with this horrible person threatening me. Okay. I, I, God, I just wish I knew who this person was, I tell you. I know, we don't even know if it's, it's a man or a woman. But what we do know is that this person is serious. I mean, shot Jared tonight and could die. Yeah. And that's exactly why I think you need to tell Ethan the truth right now. Because it's not like this guy is going to stop and just all of a sudden go away. You know, if you did tell Ethan the truth, you could have him protect you. But Jared tried to protect me. Nobody has to know you told Ethan, Teresa. No, 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 Whitney, I can't do that. You've seen when I've been contacted by that blackmailer. It, it's like it knows every move I'm about to make before I even make it. No, it told me, stay away from Ethan. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I don't want to think what would happen if I don't. I would not put Ethan's life at risk like that. How would you be putting me at risk? Turns your wife, and it's the middle of the night, yet you don't know where she is? Okay, you didn't even know she was going out? Look, I told you, your knocking woke me up. I thought that she was in bed, sound asleep next to me, but she wasn't. What is going on here? Okay, you don't have any idea at all why Sheridan will be out at this hour of the night? No. She might be in with James, sometimes he has trouble sleeping, and then she spends the night in a chair by his bed. You mind taking a look? As a matter of fact, I do. Can't whatever this is about wait until morning? Um, actually, it'd be best if we solve this right now. All right. The two of you better have a good explanation. Hmm. Hey, now do you believe it was Sheridan who jumped me in the hospital parking lot? Can't. She could be here. Sheridan's not with James. I just checked the rest of the cottage. She's out. Sharon could be. She didn't leave you, no. No. Look, maybe she's just up at the main house getting something. At this time of night? Why would she do that? I don't know, Fancy. Are you guys going to tell me what's going on? Why are you at my house at this time of night? We told you. Looking for Sheridan. Well, that's Sheridan's car. Fine. Then I don't understand. 
What's going on? I think you know Aunt Sheridan. Where have you been, Sheridan? Where have you been in the middle of the night? Look, I, I didn't know you were right there. Well, I was, and I heard you, so tell me, how could you be putting me at risk? Don't tell me I'm misunderstood, because I know there's something going on that you're keeping from me. Teresa, I don't care what you think the risk is. I want to hear it. Jared. Excuse me. How did the surgery go? Dr. Russell was able to remove the bullet. So far, so good. In fact, he's doing remarkably well, considering what he's been through tonight. Thank you, God. He was mumbling coming out of the anesthesia. It was hard to understand, but it sounded like he was calling for Bess. No, no, that was Tess. Um, that's what he calls Teresa Tess. It was something to the effect that she was in trouble and he wanted to help her, that he loves her very much. I'm sorry. I tried. What do you mean you tried? What does he mean? Okay, Jerry. Everything's gonna be just fine, I promise. I want to help you. Help you with what? What 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 is he talking about? We don't have a room available yet, so we're gonna put him in this cubicle. Can I wait with him in there, please? Yes, just don't let him exert himself too much. I won't. Hey, Teresa. No, no, no. What, what is... No, I, I I can't talk to you. I need to be with Jerry. Whitney, come on. I know you know what's going on, so just tell me. And don't do don't it. tell me that it's up to Teresa to tell me. You can clearly see that she's giving me the runaround here. Now I can't help her if I don't know what she's involved in. So for God's sakes, will you tell me what whatever it is? Ethan, trust me, I want to talk to you, but I can't. I need to know what she is mixed up in. Jared got shot tonight. She could be next. Is that what you want? Of course it's not what I want. Then please just let me in on whatever it is. I know you don't want to betray Teresa's confidence. But I'm a little nervous here. I'm a little scared. Help me protect her, please. Ethan, please, just, just, just go try to talk to what? Teresa one more time, please. Wow, okay, fine. I guess I'll have to do this on my own. Thank you for nothing. I want to tell you, Ethan, I really do, but I can't. I just can't. Honey, I woke up tonight and you weren't there. You didn't even leave me a note. Well, I didn't think I needed to. I didn't think you'd wake up. Hmm, obviously. Do you mind telling me where you were tonight, honey? I ran to the store. The all-night pharmacy. I needed to get James some cough medicine. I didn't know he was sick. He's not. Not yet, anyway. I heard him coughing in his sleep. It woke me up and I wanted to get some. Don't we have some cough syrup in the medicine cabinet? We ran out. Mommy? Sweetheart. A party? No. Luis and Fancy just stopped by for a minute. Sorry we woke you up, buddy. <coughs> oh, honey. I thought you might need this. It's cherry. You'll like it. She was telling the truth. Or not. Hey, there you are. Hey, honey. Mm -hmm. Did you have any trouble dropping Miles off at Graham's, his friend's house? No, not a bit. His dad was waiting for us when we drove up. You know, it's really nice for him and his wife to take Miles for the night at this hour. Yeah. Um, about Graham's parents. Is there any uh, word on Jared's surgery yet? Yeah, yeah, actually, it, it's good news. It's gonna be fine. Oh, thank God for that. Yeah, yeah, I, um, I just keep thinking about what a close call it was. I mean, not just that Jared almost died, but, you know, what if it was Teresa? Hey, baby, come on now, don't do that to yourself. It wasn't Teresa, and it's not gonna be Teresa. Or anybody else for that matter. You okay? Yeah, 
Yeah, I just, I just want to know when it's all going to end, you know? I mean, when are things going to go back to being normal and we can feel safe again? I just thought all of our bad times were over once we got back from Rome, you know? Yeah, they are. They are. And okay, this has nothing to do with us. Yeah, but Teresa's my best friend and some crazy person is threatening her. I mean, she wants to tell Ethan the truth, that little Ethan is really his son, but she doesn't want to put him in any danger. And I can't say I blame her. Yeah, well, I'm sure this is driving Ethan nuts, too. I'm sure he knows that she's holding out on him. Well, of course he knows, and now he's upset at me for not confiding in him. And I would. I, I, I would confide in him, but I'm scared, you know? What if I tell him the truth, and then he's in danger, and something happens to him? I don't want to be responsible for that. Baby, you <laughs> couldn't hurt anybody. Okay, come here. Oh. Come here. You know how much I love you? Wow, that's nice to hear. Mm -hmm. Especially after our little argument earlier. Yeah, let's just uh, forget about that. I'd like to forget about it, but I gotta say you threw me. I guess I just always thought we were on the same page as far as prejudice goes. We are. Maybe people are people no matter what their race, religion, or ethnic background. Unless they're gay. All... I said was gay relationships are based on something other than love. Yeah, exactly. You said they were based on sex, which is crazy, and I don't agree with it at all. I mean, it certainly wasn't the case as far as Ray and Simone were concerned. Look, let's not talk about this, okay? Okay. I just want to make it clear that I don't feel the same way at all. Sorry. That's your fault. You were trying to help me. This is what you got for it. Stop. You never would have went to that alley if it wasn't for me. Don't you get it yet? I love you. I'd do anything in the world for you. I'm going to try again as soon as I get out of No, here. you're not. Absolutely not. You're nearly killed tonight. I'm going to find a way to get myself out of this oh, mess. Just Wait, don't talk, okay? I just want you to rest. It was a, a woman. Who? The person who shot me, I'm pretty sure it was a woman. Did you see her face? No. Shoes, uh, high heels. I couldn't see. I was too hot of it. I'm sorry. No, don't, don't. Don't you ever say that to me again. I want to, I want to help you stop the person from scaring I want to help. No, no, you know what? I don't want you to worry about a thing, okay? I'm just happy you're going to be all right. What is going on, Teresa? You are my passion for life. What are you all staring at? Sorry. Well, gave James his medicine, put him to bed. If any luck, he'll sleep through the night. Is there something you'd like to say, Fancy? I might ask you the same thing. Well, would you mind filling me in? Why are you and Luis here in my house in the middle of the night? Fancy was attacked earlier. At the hospital. Oh, my God. Don't tell me you were raped again. No, not raped. I was jumped in the hospital parking lot. Well, are you okay? Oh, yeah. I'm just peachy. I'm just ducky, Aunt Sheridan. The thing is, I think the person was a woman. You're kidding. Hardly. Well, are you sure? Because I know that you think that it was a woman that had something to do with the sexual attack in your room, too. I'm even more sure it was a woman now. Did you see her face? No. As usual, it was covered up by a ski mask. But tonight, I heard her shoes. Spike heels. Well, that's something. There's more. We fought. I managed to scratch the hell out of her. I even, I even broke a fingernail. So I have no doubt in my mind that it was a woman. So to answer your question about why Luis and I are here in the middle of the night, we wanted to see if you were home. But just I as I thought, you weren't. 
What a coincidence, huh? Wait a minute. You think I was the one. That's why you're here at my house. You think I'm the one that attacked you. Oh, come on, Louise. Don't tell me that she's gotten to you, too. Don't tell me that you think I'm the one that did this. Look, let's not fight about this, okay? Who cares about homosexuals' lifestyles? I guess I just never would have dreamed that you felt this way towards gay people. I don't. Who said that? Well, if you could make a sweeping generalization like that, that gay people don't feel love the same way straight people do, I mean, that's about as backwards a statement as I've ever heard. I... I guess I just didn't know you felt that way. Okay, look. That's enough. I dropped Miles off at his friend's house so I could be here with you and Teresa. I know. Okay. Fine. All right. Now we should be feeling great that Jared's going to make it. Yeah, I do. I do. It's just that I still am worried about Teresa. I mean, whoever shot Jared is serious. I mean, God only knows what they could do to Teresa this time. Uh, maybe nothing. Yeah, or maybe they'll succeed the next time and actually kill someone. See, what's weird about this guy is that he seems to know what Teresa's going to do before she even knows herself. And if something happens to her, Chad, I swear... I... Baby, I don't think that's your goal. Okay? Why not? They could have gotten to her tonight instead of Jared. Now, I don't think they want Teresa dead. They just enjoy pulling her strings. Yeah, but why would somebody do that? Well, that I don't know. But baby, I promise. I'll never let anything happen to you. Mm. <laughs> you know, I wish Teresa had Ethan's arms comforting her right now. This whole thing is so awful. Not knowing where the next shot is coming from or who it's going to be for. We just rest now, Jared, okay? I'm going to be right back. waiting for you. Ethan. No, no, no. Now is not a good Teresa, time. Teresa, Teresa, hey, hey, you can't, you can't keep putting me off here. Not after what happened to him. I want some answers. I want them now. This doesn't concern you. That's bull. I know better from both you and Whitney. What'd she tell you? Enough to make me understand that I am concerned here as well. Give me some credit here. We were just on the verge of finally getting back together. Finally having a family. The one with Jane and little Ethan that you've always wanted. No, little Ethan, that little boy that I think of as my own. And now all of a sudden you have Jared's engagement ring back on. Something's n really crazy here and I'd like to know what it is, please. Ethan. Do you not understand how much I love you? I love you so much. Will you just talk to me, no, please? No. I can help you with this. Let me help you, you with this. You can't help me. You don't understand that? You don't even want to give me a chance to try to help you. Whatever the secret is. Don't let it be the thing that keeps us from finally doing what we've always wanted to do. Be together. We have a shot. And I don't want to lose you again. So whatever this thing is, we can, we can work through it together. But you've got to trust me. Teresa, what is it? I really hated leaving the hospital without talking to Teresa at least one more time. She's going to be okay. And now that Jared's conscious and recovering, there's nothing to worry about. Yeah, I hope you're right. It does feel good to be home, though. Yeah. And they should be dropping off miles any minute. You know, it's really nice of his friend's folks to bring him home at this time of night. Yeah. They're really nice people. I was going to ask you about, you know, maybe we could hang out with them more, go out sometime. Yeah, sure. I'm down for that. Might even get to meet my Graham's mother tonight. Actually, um... Oh, let me see them bringing home Miles right now. Hold up. Uh. Hey. Hey, there you are, little man. Oh, it's good to see you home. What are you doing? Hi, little man. <laughs> your mama. I know you met Kevin earlier, but this is Brian, Kevin's partner. Graham is their son. <laughs> are you telling me that, uh... Yeah, yeah. They're Graham's parents. <laughs> um... Thanks for dropping Miles off at this time of night. I know it had to be 
some trouble, but thank you. No problem. It's nice to meet you. Wait a minute. I know you. I, I don't think so. No, really, I've seen you around. I just can't place where. You don't actually think that I'm the one that attacked Fancy. All right, can we just hang on here a second? No one has accused you of anything. But she okay. is! This is so far-fetched and out of line that I don't even know what to say. Well, why don't you not say anything for a minute, Aunt Sheridan? Instead, let me look at your arms. What? Let Luis and me see if you have any scratch marks. I know I scratched the hell out of whoever attacked me. What? This is crazy! There is no way in hell that I am going to subject myself to the paranoid ravings of someone in the throes of a nervous breakdown. Is that why you don't want us to look? Or are you too afraid to let us see because you know you are covered with scratches and bruises all over your arms? You know what, Fancy? I was worried about you before, but now I know you have totally lost it. You need help. I'm not going to go along with these sick fantasies of yours. There's no way I'm going to show you my arms. Guys, will somebody please tell me where this is even coming from? Uh, I mean, uh, how on earth does Fancy even come up with a suspicion like this? You haven't even heard the most perverse part of it all, sweetheart. Fancy thinks that I'm the one that planted Luis's DNA inside of her. What? That, that, that doesn't make any sense. That's why I won't even go along with these horrid accusations uh, of All right. Okay. The thing is this. When Fancy and I were hypnotized, we both separately thought that there was a woman in the room while she was being attacked. Not that, that we suspect that it was Sheridan. It wasn't. It says you! You were so angry I accused you that you jumped me in the parking lot at the hospital to get back at me. Oh, please! Just show us your arms! That's all you have to do to make us go away. Fancy, we don't need to look at Sheridan's arms, okay? We already know why she was out. She went out to get James the cough syrup, okay? Yeah, and she got it either before or after she jumped me. Louise, she knew she might need an alibi. You know what, Fancy? I am really worried about you. But I understand. I know you've been to hell and back. But I care about you, and I will do whatever I have to to take care of you. Well, there you go again, pretending like you care about me. I do. Fancy. Oh, no, I, I can't take this. Would I need some air. I'll take care of that. I'm sorry. There's no need for you to be sorry. I'm just so worried about Fancy. It's as if she's totally regressing. What does that mean? Well, I was just thinking back to when she was much younger. <laughs> okay, well, what does that have to do with what's going on now? Well, there was a time years ago when some bad things happened, and everyone blamed Pretty. Nancy's sister? Yes. She was the one with the unstable reputation. And when things went wrong, everyone looked to Pretty. But I always wondered if it was Fancy. But you know what? It doesn't matter. It's, it's ancient history. Besides, you have enough on your plate to worry about. You know, why don't I go make everyone some tea? Sheridan go out. Where did you go tonight, Sheridan? 
whatever it is you think you can't tell me, you can tell me. Please have some faith in me. I do, Ethan. I do. Then, 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 no more stalling. Whatever it is, hey, hey, we'll get through it. Okay. It's it's about. Um, don't answer it. I, Just don't. No, I'm so sorry. You get away. Be about the children. Hello. But, um, I'll do more than expose your secret to the world. I'll make sure both your brothers rot in prison the rest of their lives. But they're getting off light compared to what I'll do to Ethan. Now, please, you... I can, and I will. Be grateful Jared survived. Now you can stay with him. Go on. Tell Ethan to get lost. If you refuse, don't blame anyone but yourself for what happens to him. What was that? It what was that? Just this, you know, business deal, huge business. So just, just All right, whatever. No, you know what? No more, no more business. Tell me what you were going to tell me. Can't. Why not? Because it doesn't concern you. Actually, Ethan, nothing in my life concerns you. I am with Jared. I love you. You're, you're wearing a wedding ring. How many times have you told me how, how committed you are to your marriage vows? Things are a lot different now. Gwen's left me, Teresa. Really? What if she comes back? What happens to me then? Is it going to be the same thing that it's been for years and years and years? You dumped again by you? It's not going to happen ever again. You know what? You're absolutely right. Because I've made up my mind. I'm with Jared and that's it. Teresa. I ever wanted Ethan. How does this black miller know everything that I do? How does he know that I was about to tell Ethan? It's not the supermarket that I know you from. You don't have season tickets to Patriots, do you? <laughs> no, not me. You must be confusing me with someone else. No, really, I never forget a face. Neither do I. I've never seen you before in my life. Oh, <laughs> Chad's tired. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure he's not meaning to be rude. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, no offense intended. I, you're right. It's probably just someone that looks like you. Yeah, must be. All right, man. It's time for you to go to bed. Come on. Uh, I'm sorry. It's been a long day for us, you know. A friend of ours was, was shot, and I think the reality of it is just catching up to him. Is he going to be okay? Your friend, I mean. Yes. Yeah, he is. Thank God. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I would invite you guys in, but... Don't be silly. It's late, and we got to get our little guy home. We'll see you soon. Okay. We'll make a play date for the boys. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, uh, and thanks for bringing him over so late. Anytime. Bye. You can scratch that play date. No way is my son gonna hang out with the kid. Don't, no, no, no. Don't even say it. Men. I was gonna say men. Okay, my kid's best friend is not gonna be the son of two daddies. How's James? He's sound asleep again. Oh, good. You know, if that cloth is still bad tomorrow, we really should take him to the doctor. Absolutely. I take it Fancy's still outside? Yeah. I'll take her some tea. Let her be. The attack tonight really threw her. She's not herself. I can see that. I really hope that you believe me that I'm as worried about her as you are. I know you are. Uh, 
I've been thinking that I'd like to take Fancy someplace. Someplace she can rest, you know? It's, it's a great idea. Have you made any reservations? Yeah. I just haven't told her yet. You know that, that new inn? Yeah. I don't think anybody would bother us there. Well, that sounds like just what the doctor ordered. I'm so glad Fancy has someone like you in her life, Louise. I hope one day I can make this up to you, Jerry. <clears throat> what are you doing here? Sorry to intrude, but, uh, you know, the small town grapevine. How's he doing? It's good. It's a miracle, actually. He never should have been shot. So how did you find out? The tabloid reporter. How much goes on in this town? I'm paying you to moonlight for me, Vincent. Tell me. Uh, I was contacted by the person you're looking for. They know you hired me. Wow. They seem to know every move I make. Sometimes even before I make it. Yeah, they, they, they want to meet with you. I told you that? Yeah, it sounds like they're open to make some kind of a deal. But uh, there, there are ground rules. Number one, you have to show up alone. On Days of Our Lives, bring John Black to me. A comatose man kidnapped. Get your wife here, otherwise the procedure begins with or without. And there's only one thing they want. If we don't get that kidney, a whole lot of other people are going to die. An organ donor. Call an ambulance right now! Days of Our Lives, NBC Daytime. What's gotten into you, Chad? Brian and Kevin did us a huge favor by watching Miles while we're at the hospital and you're going to be rude to them? I don't know the guy, and I told him that. What's so rude about that? I really don't care if you know the guy or not. <laughs> Maybe he saw you at the gym. I don't know. But their son is Miles' best friend. Not anymore, he's not. What is your deal? When did you all of a sudden become so hostile towards gay people? I mean, first you have it in for my sister's feelings for Ray, and then you give these two guys who you've never even met before a hard time because they're homosexual. Where did all this come from? Because I'm going to tell you, I don't like it. And I wish it would just go away. Yeah, like nothing happened. Like the only reason I'm accusing her is because I flipped out. God, that is what she wants you to believe, Louise, but it's not true. Sheridan is the one who was lying. I know that she's the one who attacked me outside the hospital. Okay. Nancy, listen to me. You have been through more in the past few weeks than anyone deserves to go through in a lifetime, okay? Right now, you just need some rest. You really don't believe me. I just don't think that it's plausible that Sheridan attacked you, okay? Not tonight or before. Oh, come on, Fancy, you have to admit you... Uh, you're exhausted and uh, emotionally, you're raw. Hey, what do you say the two of us just go away for a couple days, just by ourselves? C could you do that with the charges pending against you? I think it'd be fine as long as I don't leave the state. You need some rest. You need to get away. I need to get away, too. It'd be great for both of us. Oh, I am tired. Well, let's do it, then. Come on. Okay. But it's not going to change my mind about Aunt Sheridan. Fine. I'm just going to get away for a couple days, and then we'll deal with everything when we get back, okay? We 
fought. I managed to scratch the hell out of her. I even, I even broke a fingernail. So I have no doubt in my mind that it was a woman. Ethan Winthrop? That's right. Consider yourself served. God, Gwen has petitioned for divorce. It's over. My marriage is over. And this is going to change everything with Teresa. You want me to go alone? That was a primary stipulation. Okay. I'll do it. Where do I go? When's this meeting? <laughs> no, you can't be serious. I, there's no way you're going to go out there and look for this psycho on your own. It's way too risky. I don't have a choice. But, but look at Jared. Do you want to end up like him? I mean, they, they, they could take a shot at you. Or, or uh, I don't think they, they said something. Uh, only I didn't get it. Uh, what did they say? They said, not only were you to show up alone, but that you weren't to send anyone in your place. And if you did, and here's a part that I didn't get, uh, if you did, you and little Ethan's father would be at serious risk. But what does Julian Crane have to do with any of this? I don't know. You did the right thing, okay? Thank you for relaying the message. Yeah, well, I still don't think you should go. You can't trust whoever this is. I've made my decision, Vincent. I'm going. You listening? Good. You see, in this neighborhood, the only thing the Donnelly brothers could count on was each other. We're his brothers. He needs us. From the Oscar-winning writers of Crash, the new drama Rolling Stone calls this year's best bet. Critics say it's crazy, sexy, noble, and cool. Entertainment Weekly raves it's the most ambitious new show in years. Who are you betting that you don't know this? The Black Donnellys premieres Monday after Heroes on NBC. Catch an all-new Las Vegas tonight at 9 central on NBC.